Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel VBA video, we are going to learn about uh, the two different controls in Microsoft Excel VBA. And these controls are uh, the frame control and the option button or the radio button controls. Okay. So for this purpose, first of all, let us add a new form. So once you're in VBA, you can go to the insert tab and insert a new user form. Let's just rename it as FRM2 according to the convention. And uh, let's just change its caption to radio button. So basically the usage of a radio button is that whenever there are a different number of options available and you want to select only one option from all those available options, then we use these radio buttons. For example, uh, in a form, whenever you are asked to uh, select your gender, then there is a radio button given there, like it could be a male, female or any other thing. Then in that case, you are given a radio button from all the available options. You are uh, asked to make a single choice. Similarly, in the true false questions in a quiz or in a test, there are two options true and false. And out of these two options, you can either select true or false. So in that case, also a radio button is used. So let's see that how can we add a radio button in a form. Let's just change the size of the form. I'm going to increase its size like this. So uh, what is a radio button? This is a uh, radio button. Actually, it's given the name as option button in Visual Basic, but that does not means you have to be confused. A radio button is simply an option button. Let's just bring up one option button and another option button. So there are these two option buttons and there is a uh, label. There would be a label associated with it. So let's just add another label. What we are going to do is ask a simple true false question. And on the basis of that, we want the user to choose these two options and submit the answer through this command button. And whatever the result of the user is, it would be displayed in this label that whether the user has entered a correct answer or not. So we have these uh, uh, five controls, two labels, two option buttons and one command button. That's our form. So that's a simple form. Let's see what happens. Uh, first of all, let's go to label one and let's just change the name of all the controls. So it is LBL one by the convention. And for the label two, we have the uh, name as LBL two. All right. Now let's just change its font as well because we want the result to be shown in a bold format with Tahoma that's uh, fine but you can just choose anything you want and uh, in the starting I don't want any caption from the label okay so uh, then this option button is there so the convention for the option button is OPT BTN OPT for option and BTN for the button let's just change it to OPT BTN 1 and this option button 2 must change to OPT BTN 2 so that's the convention for the option buttons or the radio buttons. And then for the command buttons, let's just change it to CMD BTN1. So first of all, let's ask a question. So for that purpose, let us just change the caption of label one. But um, there is one thing that you must need to know that um, uh, instead of using actually that's a mistake. So let's go back to our form instead of using the properties window whenever you are trying to code through visual basic it is advisable that uh, you must use the form events to change the properties of the controls like i want to change the caption of label one so if i just double click on the form i have got the click property or the click event so instead of the click event i have an event in the form that is known as the load event so it must be here or the initialize event on the initialize event that is whenever the form is initialized what i want is i want lbl1 dot caption or lbl1 simply you can take it to be changed to uh, a simple question is three greater than five that's my question and uh, let's just give true slash false so what will happen is as soon as this form is initialized label one's caption would change to this thing okay so if we just run it form you can see that what we are seeing in label one is this thing 
and not the original things that we had so this is what is advisable for the form to do is so uh, you can just code hard code everything through the forms okay like this but that is just the coding part so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the properties window uh so that it happens quickly and let's just change its order size property to true and just change its font as well to something of a bigger size like this okay and for the option button one what do we have is uh instead of the option button one we have the caption so the caption must be changed to true and uh, for the option button two the caption must be changed to false and this command button's caption must be changed to actually uh check or submit or check anything that you want i'm going to change it to check that's it now what happens is as soon as i click on the command button i want the result to be evaluated and uh, since i know uh, that according to the question what is the answer so according to that i can hard code it okay so if i just double click on the command button so i go to this event command button one dot click and what i'm going to code into it is that um, if the user clicks on true then i want the result to show that uh, you have entered the wrong answer and if the user clicks on false i have to show that you have clicked on the right answer or wrong right like this so what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to check that which option button has the user clicked so there is a method in visual basic through which we can exactly check that and that is through the value property of the option button so if we just write uh, we are going to use the if condition why because we are going to check something and whenever we are uh, trying to check something then there must be an if condition if opt btn one dot value so this value is either true or false if the user has clicked on this button then its value is going to be true and if this button is left unclicked or unchecked then its value is going to be false so if we just go back to our form so its uh, caption is true which means that if the user clicks on this option button one or if the value of this option button one is true then the answer of the user is wrong so let's just write it true then i want uh, in that case i want lbl2 dot caption or lbl2 simply equals wrong answer wrong answer and for an extra effect what i'm going to do is lbl dot four color i am going to change its four color to vb red so that wrong is uh, representing red let's just write else if opt btn two dot value is true that is if the user has selected the second option which is false then in that case what i want okay it must be else if no space over here then what i want is i want to just copy these two things and i have to change those values and that is i want to change it to right answer and its color i'm going to change to vb green okay and else that is if the user has not entered any option if the user has not clicked any option and the command button if the user has not chosen any option but has clicked on check then in that case what i want is lbl caption is empty answer empty answer and i want it to be vb uh say vb black or we cannot just change the full color to anything let's just keep it that way okay so that's how it works let's just increase the value of the label a little bit like this okay so this is what we have got in the form and let's just run it to see what happens so the question we get is is three greater than five true or false so if i click on true and click on check okay actually we have got an error we just didn't add it this end if option that's why we are getting this error so let's write this end if and we try to run uh, resume it then what happens is we get in bold red letters wrong answer so we click on false and we click on check right answer 
now uh, that is not possible that if we just skip it so let's just close this form to check what happens if the none of the options is selected so none of the options is selected and i click on check so i get empty answer so that's how the uh, option buttons work so